What is the crack, lads, and welcome back to another pack review. Today we're taking a look at the Manchester United 22 to 23 season pack. And yeah, there's a couple of there's a couple of beasts in this, lads. My favorite word. Ronaldo is probably the pick of them. He looks he looks incredible. Now, as you can see, I've already purchased this pack because I do have a new squad that I'm going to be using for friendly match lobbies when I take on you guys. If you are interested in that, check out my last video with the friendly match lobby. I think the title of the video should be Do You Want to Play Me or something like that. But anyway, we're going to move on from that and we're going to focus on this Manchester United pack because there are some good players in it, especially Cristiano Ronaldo. 900 coins as you can see here all the players would be grayed out just because i already have purchased them but again just to go through them really quick right i'm gonna i'm not gonna focus too much on bruno mcguire fred or mctominy because you know what you're getting with these guys they're kind of just very similar to their standard version card just a couple of different stats here and there mctominy isn't bad his defensive awareness is pretty poor for a dmf but you can boost that up, but his passing and everything, yeah, I mean, don't waste your time if you do get this pack, I probably won't be using McTominay unless he's on like A form, which at the moment he's on C, 24 levels to go, standard form, he has got a lot of player skills, like a lot of player skills here, interception, fighting spirit, long range curler shooter, I don't know why he has that to be honest, I can't even remember him scoring more than two goals that I've seen, but anyway, uh, that is such the suffering of a Manchester United fan, but uh, yeah, he is fairly decent, but like the likes of him, the likes of Fred, they're not really going to be end game players. Now, if you are like me, a Manchester United fan, and you want to actually have a full squad of Manchester United players, these versions of the players are very, very good. Now, Fred is on B form at the moment. Again, I don't know why he is, but he, um, he's he got some good aggression, good defensive engagement. He's not bad as a box to box, but there's just so many, like I keep saying this, but there's so many box to box players that you can buy for dirt cheap, like literally 30k GP that you can get in like half an hour of just playing against the AI and you can have a better player than Fred. Obviously, you need to train him up, um, but this guy will plug the holes if if needs be, if you just want to get a ready-made uh, pack. Maguire, obviously, is uh, is going to be one of these that um, is, is going to be a kind of, yeah, you're never going to play Maguire unless you want somebody, you know, you're really badly stuck at the back. I mean, I feel sorry for Maguire, man. He gets a terrible, terrible time. He's still a professional player at the end of the day. But he does have blocker, interception, fighting spirit, man marking and heading. And he's a big unit as well. He's strong. He's physically very, very strong. And he's hard to get past. And he's a good man to slide tackle as well. He's very hard to get past because he is such a big unit. He's kind of like Sewell from uh, Borussia Dortmund who is very good as well in the game. But Maguire, yeah, again, that pace, man, is going to kill him at the back. You can get the defensive awareness up quite high, but the pace is eventually going to kill you, especially later on in the game, because the dribbling seems to have come back a bit. So I'm not going to spend too much time on these because, you know, you are getting what you already kind of know with the standard versions of the cards, right? It's more about like the likes of Ronaldo, Varane, Martinez, Rashford, and then the Malassia card as well is quite tasty. Um, Bruno as well, similarly, I've already covered Bruno in depth multiple times. This version of the card isn't too bad. He is on D form here and he does have standard form. He doesn't have any um, real different player skills. He has one or two kind of slight variations on his actual legend card. But to be honest, if you are a massive fan of Bruno and you want Bruno and in, in more than any other player, I would recommend probably getting the other one um, where I've covered him in depth. So we're now going to head over to eFootballDB.com and we are going to start with Cristiano Ronaldo. So I know that the lads are working on a brand new overhaul for eFootballDB.com um, because it is at the moment a little bit, a little bit just kind of the display of all the stats broken down into like you know, speed, shooting, dribbling, they're making it more in line with the eFootball um, kind of like layout and stuff, which, you know, uh, should be a lot better. And obviously the compare page then as well. There's just, there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff in it. Um, but all the ratings are accurate. Everything, you know, works. It's fast. Everything like that. It's just the layout needs to be improved and especially on the app and the iOS app is to come as well. But anyway, I digress. So this Cristiano Ronaldo card is absolutely insane. If you have missed out on his other cards, you know, the other version of the cards that he's had over the past, if you've missed out on this one, 
Now, this guy only has five levels, right? So he doesn't have that 102 overall rating. You can see there that he's 25 out of five levels. That is because I have maxed out this player at 25. So this is just a quick hover feature to see what stats all the players at are at the same level. So that's going to be a new feature that is coming as well. But this card is absolutely insane, lads, if you look at his, his cards, because Ronaldo still has it. Speed, acceleration, offensive awareness, finishing, and kick and power. He does have only a uh, standard form, which is the only letdown here. But his ball control, his passing, everything just works. He's got player ID as well. It's not as, you know, transparent as like it was in previous games with the player ID still is there that he'll get onto chances in the air that he just shouldn't get onto and stuff like that because he's such a beast. Now, when you compare that to his standard card, you're talking about 500,000 GP. There is a bit of grinding in 500,000 GP, lads. I'll be honest with you. But you are getting a very similar card. Apart from the speed, he's reduced in that. The ball control, as you can see there, he has way better ball control on his standard card and then the rest of the finishing is uh is is mapped up on that now technically if we wanted to like throw down his shooting here we could put it onto dribbling um but you know it's it's kind of very similar card if you wanted i would definitely just max out his shooting and finishing there so that is cristiano next up we have rain and i keep skipping over these so it's kind of glitchy but um that's my own fault we have rain who, again, this is an extraordinary card when you look at his defensive awareness, engagement, and acceleration and speed. There's no real need to touch up his stats with speed if you don't want to. I would just focus every last drop of points into his defensive awareness to get it up as high as possible, get his aggression up, his tackling up, and his defensive awareness up, and he could be in-game centre-back depending on his uh, rating. He's at D at the moment, but that will surely change. Now we've got Sancho again. These are a dime a dozen, lads, these kind of wingers. I still think Anthony is one of the best wingers in the game. If you are looking for a left wing and you don't really fancy buying this pack or you want to stay and you're thinking, will I get Sancho with the standard version? He is 100,000 GP, as you can see there when we hover over. But if you are looking for somebody, I would say St. Maximin from uh, Newcastle is an extraordinary player. But Sancho has got really good stats. 85 speed, 92 acceleration, 94 balance, 94 dribbling, ball control 92, tight possession 90. S like absolutely sick, to be honest. Absolutely sick. So you won't be let down by him if you are choosing him as a winger. Now, this guy is a bit of a hidden gem, I think, in this pack. Because obviously you're going to look at Ronaldo, you're going to look at Rashford, you're going to look at... Um, you're going to look at Bruno, but you no, know, this guy actually looks unbelievable, lads. Look at his defensive capabilities here. Him and Varane in, mid, in the middle of the park, like defensively, you would have a very, very strong. This is what I'm talking about. Have one kind of small, mobile, nimbly, kind of like getting in and out of tackles, tenacious in the tackle, a uh, small kind of center half, and then have one kind of like larger, taller center half that can get around the pitch at the back and then Martinez can break up the play he's got 96 aggression 92 tackling 90 awareness 91 engagement and then his speed and acceleration are quite high as well compare that to his regular card you aren't getting all those stats there but it's very similar so if you do have 47,000 and you want to try out Martinez before you go for this pack I would definitely recommend him because he is a monster I have him in my other profile and he is he is quite decent when you're in division four five six or any of those Malassia, so we're on to the final home stretch here now. We've got two players left. Malassia, left back, 88 speed, 90 acceleration, 80 defensive awareness, 64 offensive awareness. Now, he is an offensive player, and he is going to be kind of bombing forward, but you can hold him back with anchoring. I think his ball control and passing does let him down, which is a big pity. I think I would have liked to have seen that a little bit more. But yeah, he's kind of like Juan Basaka. Juan Basaka was last year in PES 2021 or PES uh, or eFootball 22 at the start. Him and Carvajal are kind of similar, except a bit more speed. Um, is he going to replace your left back that has been at your club? That's up to you to decide. And last but not least, we have Rashi Rashford, who's been scoring for fun at the moment and looking very, very sharp up front. Just watched the Europa League match there where he scored two really nice goals. Speed and uh, acceleration, extremely high. Kicking power, 93. Offensive awareness, 80. Now, I did a video last week where it was like Adriano is in Pez or Adriano from PES 6 is in eFootball 2023 in Rashford. Now, I've kind of like made this guy into a winger because I think it suits boosting up his, uh, his wing play a little bit more. But if you are actually choosing to put him in uh, with his standard card, he's only 32,000 GP, you can practically take away all his dribbling here. You can take away some of his acceleration and then you could just pump up the rest into his shooting, which you can get it up to 99 and 99. We're pretty much like 98 and 99. 
Now, it depends how you're going to train him up, but yeah, let's that is it for another player pack review. Let me know if you guys are going to get this one. I have already bought it, so you will be seeing a lot of gameplay with it from me. And uh, yeah, that is it for me. I will talk to you later, lads. Peace.